Well, you may recognize this well from one of the crucial scenes in um, the Travail of Passion. And so you know that underneath the well lies the, the lair of the King of the Leprechauns of Munster, Finbar Greenjacket. Now, I had developed Finbar for a series of short stories and an epic poem, and there's five kingdoms of leprechauns, and they each kind of have a different color, uh, and so the leprechauns of Munster are green, uh, and I have made the, the king of each of the uh, provinces leprechauns, and then two in their respective uniform, uh, for each of the five. I, I don't know exactly how I'm going to use them yet, but uh, I'm going to use them uh, someday. And I wanted to make sure that uh, Finbar in here has uh, his little treasure room with all of these goodies in it. Uh, and I wanted to ensure that it was going to uh, house the, the treasures of Ireland. So that was Dagda's Cauldron. Okay, it was a magical cauldron that whatever you, you filled it with, um, it would never run out. So you could, you could make stew in it, and there would be stew to unendingly feed your army. And the Spear of Lu, now Lu was the sun god in ancient pagan Ireland, um, and he kind of became transformed into a mythological warrior in some of the cycles. And his spear was also legendary. Uh, if you threw it and you uttered a magic word, it would hit its target without fail. And if you uttered another magic word, it would fly back into your hand. And the tip of the spear was white hot and dripped boiling blood. And so, as the legend goes, you had to keep the spear of Lu tip into Dagda's cauldron uh, in order to keep it from burning down whatever uh, great hall it was, was sitting in. Uh, it was also a good way to... to heat the stew that you were making in the pot. And then the, the cleave solish, the, the sword of light, uh, was the other one. Uh, and that one uh, actually becomes really important to our storyline. We have all sorts of random treasures in there, and I have to mention the, the columns from the Roman cities and whatnot. Uh, a friend of mine hand crocheted the tapestries and then embroidered them all, and you can see how tiny, teeny tiny they are. So she did an absolutely phenomenal job on that. And then of course here is our, our Finbar green jacket, who is just one of the special edition minifigs, uh, and Constantine's throne, um, but some of the other, some of the other leprechauns had uh, interesting little Irish looking faces, and leprechaun looking faces, and, and uh, outfits and, and whatnot. Uh, so that is the very small Great Hall of Finbar Green Jacket, the King of the Leprechauns of Munster.